So here is the mannequin piece guys few meters you will come to the catarobe of mannequin piece after 40 minutes guys we are at the national basilica of the sacred heart 240 steps it's not a joke this is the most beautiful views i've seen so far during my stay here in brussels after visiting the crown royal mannequin piece and the biggest church in belgium now i'm heading towards bruges what can we see from here Hello! <laughs> so this is the spot guys, a very famous spot. Voila! We finally arrived guys. Look at these beautiful tasty muzzles. Good morning everyone, this is day 4 here in Brussels and there's only few things left to see here in Brussels and I left the best for last which right now I'm heading towards the Grand Palace, it's 8 o'clock and I'm hoping to take some good photos without the crowds and from there we'll be going to the mannequin piece and then visit one huge church called the Sacred Heart of Paris so that's kind of the basic plan and if we finish early, I will be doing something spontaneous, something that I don't usually like doing without planning and you will wait and see. So this is what it looks like if you come early in the morning and early I'm talking about 8 o'clock. Not too much crowd guys like yesterday. You will get the trucks here but that's fine, it's better than nothing. So let's grab some pictures and see how it goes. visit the city hall only with a guide tour and it's open on Wednesday and Sunday if you are interested in that and I believe it will take you all the way up there if I'm not mistaken I have no idea about that one so yeah let's go to the mannequin piece and find out if it's busy there next to the Grand Palace we got a monument of a Belgian hero Everard the set place which Legend says if you touch it, it will bring you luck, so let's do that. So walking straight ahead guys, you will see another famous mural, one of the 30 murals here in Belgium, which is a Tintin, a Belgian comic, really famous. Uh, it's on our way to Maneke Peace. So here is the mannequin piece guys, a naked little boy peeing in the fountain, really famous attraction. You will need to come really early if you want to take a picture here because it's a really famous attraction. We will be going to his garderobe where he has many clothes. So while we are waiting for the garderobe mannequin piece to open because it opens at 10, I got myself a nice omelette with a juice, actually two juices because you got an option to get an omelette, juice and a coffee but I chose to get two juices and an omelette for 8 euros and it's next to the gatarob one minute, it's called tasty break few meters you will come to the gatarob of mannequin piece which spends about half of the year in one of his 1,000 outfits. This tradition of dressing is truly unique in the world.
find this appoint really interesting to see those outfits it was five euros but 10 euros if you want to combine it with another museum so i believe it's worth it for five euros and now let's go to the sacre heart of paris church After 40 minutes guys we are at the National Basilica of the Sacred Heart and I think it's the biggest church in Belgium So I think we need to climb 240 steps because the lift is not working. No idea where I'm going. Two hundred and forty steps is not a joke. Finally. Oh, fresh air. Oh wow. Look at this. You can see the atomium. You can see everything everything guys and it just open 360 views of everything unbelievable so just go around enjoy the views because this is the most beautiful views i've seen so far during my stay here in brussels down and I think I will be going Bruges, I don't care, it's about 1.15 so until I go to my hotel, grab some stuff, uh, maybe make a shower, around two and a half I will be going to Bruges, I believe, so let's see how the day goes <laughs> and I will let you know. After visiting the Grand Royal, Mulligan Peace and the biggest church in Belgium, now I'm heading towards Bruges, no idea what to see. I will research that when I'm in the train. I'm heading now to the train station. I've done a quick shower. So it's about 2.30 now. We are off to Bruges. I hope we are off to Bruges. The ticket was 30 euros and that includes a return. And I got my train from Plasmo 2 saying get Ostande. Just in case you are looking for Bruges and you will not find it. That's what happened to me. But now I'm in the train, got my snacks do my research and we see how it goes and i'm now in bruges guys a last minute call which took one hour from brussels to get here it passes through ghent which ghent is about 40 minutes and i should have went there instead of bruges and do tomorrow bruges but it is what it is we are here now we will go around take some pictures unfortunately i will not be able to climb the tower or go in the church i think because you need to book in advance and now the time it's 4 30 and i think it will be already close until we reach there and i think we are here a really tall structure this is the church of our lady which also consists with a museum and we will go around show you the place put some clips together and yeah, it closes in 15 minutes, so I must be quick. So, enjoy, guys. The important part here in the Church of Our Lady, the Madonna of Michelangelo, it's a sculpture. So, leaving from the Church of Our Lady, guys, Next to it is the Cathedral of San Salvador, another tall tower, which I'm not sure if you are able to climb it, but the Church of Our Lady, it's not open to the public to climb the tower because it's really dangerous. And that was the Cathedral of San Salvador. Beautiful interior, a lot of paintings inside. And it was a quick look and why not? 
I'm now in a nice little street with a lot of shops. I think it's called Market. And I'm heading towards the center where it's another tall tower, which I believe it's Belfry. Let's scroll around, maybe find ourselves a few souvenirs, take some more pictures and see where the road will lead us. So guys, we are in the main square now. I'm not quite sure what the security is about, but I'm quite sure the Belfry Tower is not open because of the heat. It will be open, I think, tomorrow because I think it's 10 degrees uh, lower. That's what I've been told. And this is a beautiful square, guys, which I will be going around, taking some more pictures and see where we will be going next. What can we see from here? And I'm now in another beautiful square where this is the city hall, I think. And based on Google Maps, that's the Basilica of the Holy Blood, if I'm not wrong. And there's not many people around because it's so hot, guys. So I'm going to the other side, which I saw from the map, there is a Choco factory, chocolate museum or something. Well, it's this one, but there is nothing to see from outside. Here is a canal with a nice statue called Jean Van Eyck. I think it's an important statue don't know too much about it hello I just passed through an alley with a lot of restaurants and look what I found there is a swimming area and I don't even got a swimming truck to go inside. What a cool idea. They even got the lifeguards. That's amazing. It's another place with cool restaurants here. Plenty of them to choose. So this is the spot guys. A very famous spot. And also you got the canal rides here. I got myself a Belgian gourmet. Thank you. Bye bye. bye, -bye. Uh, some sweets. Police suggested Pulsmoons. That's the best restaurant for mussels. Here it is, guys. Not the best view, but if it's fresh, that will do. The price is similar to everywhere, I believe, in Belgium. It's about 26 to 28. Uh, prices are included. So. Yeah, just to have an idea how much you will be paying if you want to try muscles. By the way, the wait was a bit long. The time it's 8.44 and I found the three last trains to Brussels, which is 9.58, 10.25 and 11.24. Voila! We finally arrived, guys. Look at this beautiful, tasty muscles. It's with a white wine and another Brusot beer. I really want to be sure. I, I will, I will. Okay. Really tasty guys. And definitely worth the money and the weight. It's time for us to head back to the train station. It's 9.50, so to walk it's about 60 minutes, so if I arrive there by 10.10 10 and find the station and so on, I will be ready to get back to Brussels as I will be waking up really early to go to get also. So let's start going to the train station, the food was delicious, it wasn't ending too much muscles. The white wine combination, I didn't like, maybe you could try something else, but that's my opinion. So guys, I will see you at the train station. This is crazy. All of these people will go in the same train again. So we stop at the gate and now we're going to Brussels. 
it's crazy because of the heat trains are cancelled so let's see what will happen with this train finally guys i'm back to my hotel the time it's almost two o'clock in the morning and i'm glad i followed my feeling and didn't wait for the last train because i'm not sure if i will be arriving the train situation the heat wave was hectic it was crazy guys and what can i say Bruges was very very beautiful totally worth the visit the day trip that i made but the train situation made me have second thoughts for tomorrow about Ghent. I need to think about it because if I'm going to go through all of this again, I'm not sure if I could take it because that's too much. I went to the train station around 10 o'clock and until I arrived in the train, it was really packed. They couldn't breathe. People was fainting. They was getting angry. Anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this vlog, give it a like, subscribe if you like, and I will see you tomorrow.